Now, have you guys ever wanted to download free unlimited songs straight from your iDevice without connecting to iTunes or syncing over Wi-Fi? You just wanted to download it straight from your device, but also transfer it to your iPod stock application? Well, there's a jailbreak application for that. You can find it in Cydia only if you add a source. So you want to go to manage, head over to sources, and you want to add the Cydia.xlize.com repo. This one will allow you to get it for free. And all you have to do is go to search over here, tap on the top, and type in MeSync. Now, many of you guys may know MeSync if you guys were in the jailbreak community for a long time and you guys knew that it wasn't compatible with iOS 5 well they just upgraded it now it's on version 2.7.3 and it is compatible with any iOS 5 device that goes for iPhone, iPod and iPad sorry for people who are still on iOS 3 this application will not work for you it will download but then it will crash but as you guys can see right here, this is MeSync. Now for those of you guys that are new to MeSync, this is a standalone application that allows you to stream, download any song that you want for free. Now besides other apps, if you download a song, it stays in that certain app. What this jailbreak tweak does is it lets you download it from its own app, but then it transfers it to your iPod. So if we scroll down, you guys can see right here, Unlike any other iOS application, it has the ability to add your download songs to your internal music library in your device, enabling you to listen to them instantly in your favorite music player without iTunes or any computer required. So once you have installed that one, you will have an app on your springboard. Right here, it is called MeSync. It kind of has a cat with, I would say, some beat earphones. <laughs> I'm just playing, folks. But down here, as you guys can see, once you enter it, it will load up the home page. And you guys will see Me Sync right here. You can easily search the songs right here. You can scroll down on here, but nothing's on this page. It's just the home page. The other one is the search. So if you go to search, you guys can see up here, you can tap on this and you can type in any song you want. So say, for instance, I want to type in the latest song, which is Boyfriend. Now, this one is from Justin Bieber. Now, I'm just putting this one in because this is kind of like the most recent songs that everyone really wants to download and we'll see if it gets it now if I tap on it one time you guys can see that it either tells me if I want to download it I would just single tap it and if I want to listen to it I can just double tap it so that's very nice you can preview it before you download it so say if I just want to download it I just simply tap on it and it transfers to my transfer tab down here now, as you guys can see, this one really depends on your Wi-Fi speed on how fast it is. But for me, it is a pretty fast download. As you guys can see, we're about to finish right now. Now, once it has completed, you want to go to your tab, which says downloads. Now, this is where all of it happens, folks. This is where you get to transfer your downloads to your iPods. So as you guys can see on the top right here, you have select all. Say if you downloaded tons of songs, you want to select all of them. Instead of clicking one by one, you can just click the select or deselect. Now just to let you guys know, some songs will have an exclamation mark right here. That is nothing wrong with the song. That's just telling you that you do have to edit the tags down here. So you, what you simply want to do is you want to tap on that certain song that has the exclamation mark. You want to edit the tabs over here and you want to fill in all these blanks. That's all you have to do, folks. You can fill it in whatever you want, but you just have to fill it in. And once you save it, it won't have that exclamation mark. Just saying hypothetically when you get one because you will get one just like that. Now you can either delete it by tapping on it and just clicking the delete button if it wasn't the right song. You can resync it if you're having any problems. Now you guys can also listen to the song right here before transferring it. You can either single tap it to select the song like I did. And you can triple tap it to listen to it. So now let's just try Marvin's Room by just triple tapping it. And as you guys can see it is playing. Just simply shake it and as you guys can see shake the device to stop listening. Now say if I wanted to transfer both of these or just say if I just wanted to transfer Drake because it was the correct song. All I have to do is put add to iPod. Now it will import it which is very nice and it is a fast import. 
as you guys can see it just finished as quickly as that now once you are done as you guys can see if an exit you don't have to respring or anything I'm just gonna go into my music's application let me just go back to the beginning and I'm just gonna search for it folks so go to the top tap on it and let me just put Drake so I did search Drake so all I had to do is tap on it go to take care because that is the album and as you guys can see it did transfer to my iPod right there Marvin's room and it does play so just like that folks that is how you transfer a limited free yes folks a limited you do not have a limit and the great part about it is that you can transfer it to your iPod stock application now folks I know this is a long video but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope this helped you guys because many of you guys have been asking me that download manager from the app store just allows you to download 10 of them so I found this one out the only problem is that you do need to be jailbroken and be on a device that is running 4.0 and higher or even iOS 5 but that is much it folks once again it is called me sync you can find it in the Excelize repo link in the description below if you guys enjoyed this video just make sure to rate it a thumbs up comment below if you have any questions check out my website you can hit me up on Twitter at Apple Tech helping and that is much it folks you guys know me I'm Apple Tech catch you guys in the next one